Hi, and welcome to another Tasks app video. Inputting your tasks as quickly as possible means that you can get them out of your head and spend your precious energy doing them rather than remembering what you need to do next. I'm Steve, and today I'll show you how to use QuickAd to speed up your data entry. Right, let's QuickAd. The focus of any productivity system is inputting your tasks as quickly as possible to lighten the load and get things out of your head. QuickAd helps us with this. Starting with a new list, let's begin by adding a task. QuickAd is the text input area at the bottom of the main list view. Tap on it, type the task name, and click the arrow icon to save it. By default, QuickAd allows multi-line text input. So by tapping the keyboard's return key, we can input multiple lines of text. Let's try that. Begin typing, then tap the return key and continue typing. Finally, tap the arrow icon. Any text that's inputted with a return can be either a single task or split into multiple tasks. Let's leave it as a single task. Now, let's try typing multiple lines of text and choosing to split it into multiple tasks. This can be very useful to get lots of items down quickly, then just split them. As with many features in tasks, there are settings for QuickAd to customise the experience for you. Let's open the side menu and select Settings. We can see a setting to enable or disable QuickAd. This is useful for those who just want to see as many items in their list as possible at once. I'll leave this setting enabled. The second setting allows the multi-line input. Let's disable it and go back to our list view. I'll type a task name and see how the keyboard return key icon has changed. This time, when I hit the return key, the text is added as a new task instead of going to a new line. Please note, depending upon your Android version, you may need to completely close tasks and reopen it for the setting to take effect. Like any text input field on Android, we can copy and paste text directly into QuickAd. This can be very useful for taking snippets from other documents or a website, for example. As before, if we copy and paste text that contains multiple rows, we're asked if we would like a single task or to split it into multiple tasks. I'll choose the latter. Sometimes we just want to quickly add a task for tomorrow or another day. We can use the at day syntax to add a due date when typing our task into QuickAd. Let's say I have a task for tomorrow. If I add at tomorrow in the text anywhere, a due date of tomorrow will be added. This trick also works for at today and the days of the week. So it is currently Tuesday, but I have a task that is due on Friday. Let's add it. Now, if I click the task, we can see that it's set for Friday. Please note, use at today for today. If I use Tuesday, that will mean next Tuesday, not today. In this way, you can enter tasks for the next week quickly and easily. Next, for all the premium users out there, this trick also works in the web app. Finally, the today tomorrow and the days of the week are all translated for those using tasks in other languages. That's about it for this video. Just want to say thank you for watching and if it was helpful please like and subscribe to my channel to help support my work. It's very much appreciated. Finally, if you need any help with anything in tasks or have a suggestion for improvement, just send me an email, details in the video description below, or leave a comment and I'll do my best to reply.